nature is moody. She can be soothing and gentle or a downright tyrant. Imagine what living with her is like. <laughs> Amazingly, some critters aren't deterred by her temperament at all and choose to bunk alongside her. Today on Xyology, we're going to check out animals that live on volcanoes. You'd think a ticking time bomb might be an unhappy place to live. But don't tell that to the happy faced spider. Found at high altitudes in the lush forests that cover Hawaii's volcanoes, these little guys have developed a whole range of face patterns on their abdomens. Some scientists believe these patterns evolved to confuse predators and also to say, I'm smiling because I'm super awesome! With the mainland over 4,000 kilometers away, you must be wondering how these spiders came to live on volcanoes. Well, long before native Hawaiians settled into their tiki huts, the happy face spiders ballooned in on air currents and have since called the volcanoes home. Lava crickets take living on the edge one step further, as it's the inhospitable fields of lava that they call their digs. They've adapted to life away from vegetation and only 100 meters away from active vents. Strangely though, they move in just months after an eruption and then move out six months before any plants appear. So what on earth do they eat? Well, these nocturnal insects take advantage of home delivery. At night, the winds blow in, bringing edible bits of plant debris, and that's what the lava crickets feed on. Our final courageous critter can truly take the heat. Found 5,000 meters down and living along the sides of deep sea volcanic vents, these shrimp are right at home. As for their meals, well, there's a chain reaction. The shrimp have specially modified mouths that let them harvest bacteria that in turn are feeding on chemicals from the vents. So if you ate that shrimp for sushi, you could legitimately call it a volcano roll. Though it looks a little bit white and pasty, so I wouldn't recommend it. So there you have it. While there are some brutal forces of nature, it's amazing that nature itself always finds ways around it. Where's the 